You're listening to the Lone Star Gridiron Sports Network. The Hayes Hawks Weekly Press Conference is made possible by the Hayes Athletic Booster Club. We also need to thank Brandy Otto Realtor. If you're looking to buy, sell, lease, or invest, think gold and get sold with Brandy Otto Realtor, your trusted partner in real estate. Remember, think gold and get sold with Brandy Otto Realtor. We also need to thank the Party Play Factory. Looking for perfect party rentals? The Party Play Factory has it all. Soft play, bounce houses, photo booths, and more. Book your party today at thepartyplayfactory.com. Hey, Hawks fans, don't let back pain hold you back. Go see our friends at New Spine Chiropractic and begin your wellness journey. Your initial VIP visit at New Spine includes a private and personalized exam, full spine adjustment, and a hydrotherapy massage for only $19. Get back into the game of life with New Spine Chiropractic. Remember, Hawks fans, New Spine has your back. All right, everybody join me in welcoming Coach Mark Torres from Hayes to the show. Coach, how are things today? Things are good today. You, you know, all a couple right. good things last week. You know, we all can read the score. doesn't tell the, the whole story. Um, but there there was, despite the score, some, uh, some good growth on our nice. team and uh, a lot to play for this week potentially. So exciting time. Should be an exciting time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cool. Well, let's uh, let's jump into last week. I know, you know, we don't like to live in the past, but as we've said many times, there's there's winning and there's learning. So College Station, it was not the outcome you wanted, but let's talk about the lessons from it. Yeah, so some of the lessons are just those ones that uh, we're pretty stubborn with, you know, don't don't uh help your opponent out and of yeah. course our first very first uh play of the game you know we call for fair catch on a kickoff we muff it they call us down at the negative oh. five yard line so we had a really good first down play and then after that we kind of uh sputtered and led to another another uh kind of gift for our opponent that didn't need christmas to come early they blocked a the punt scoop and score for a touchdown so we got off on the wrong foot I thought yeah. we battled back to a competitive point in the first half where it was 24 to 12. Yeah. And, you know, we just, you know, in, in, in a maturity level team, not, not meaning that we, you know, we have plenty of seniors, but a maturity level team and understanding the position that they're in and yeah. playing a, a championship caliber program like College Station, you know, those guys, they just don't go away and they don't take plays off. And so those are the valuable lessons that we're learning that we can make a great play like we did, but we can't finish that play with a, uh, with an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. And so okay. we're just in that mode of learning, you know, h- how do we deal with good plays? H- how do we stack good plays on top of one another? And that's what we're struggling with right now. Yeah. Yeah. And that's really the difference between a 500 team and a championship team is being able to stack some successes, right? Well, I, yeah. And, and we're trying to build that kind of a program. And so it's, it's letting everybody at every level understand of, you know, Hey man, it, 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 when you make a great play, that's what you're supposed to do. Right. And, and we've, we've got it, but you haven't, if you haven't been there before, you don't know how to act. And so we're, right. we're learning how to do those things and hopefully it'll pay off here in the near future. Nice. Well, let's, let's uh, pull out some of the kids that did some uh, good things because, uh, you know, again, you've made, you made some good plays in the game. Yeah, we made some good plays. You know, uh, Linford Noriega is, is continuing to, to grow as a defensive lineman and a, and a impact player for us. And so he's garnering a lot of attention from uh, our opponents when it comes to pass protection or the, the directions that they run in their run schemes. And, and he's really growing in that role as a defensive end and a defensive lineman. So I'm, I'm really happy with his progress. You know, we've got a freshman in the defensive backfield, Ian Stegall, you know, who continues, he's making a lot of tackles and you don't want your free safety making all the tackles. You know, mm-hmm. but um, but he's he's doing well. And then overall, as a defensive unit, I know 58 points sounds ridiculous when you say, hey, they played tough and they did these things. Right. But 
you know, we had, we had a blocked punt. We had another one where it was a, a bad snap. We didn't handle it very well. We get tackled. They end up with first and goal at the five yard line. And we had a couple of situations, I believe three situations where we put our defense in a really horrible spot and they held them to field goals right in the middle of the game. And, you know, we're just at the point where you play a great team like that. We're not mature enough yet as a program. Um, you holding those guys, to a, you know, a team like College Station to field goals, that, yeah. that was a good thing for us. And so that was a positive. You know, our quarterback and his receivers, they, they did make some explosive plays. We had six explosive plays on offense. Unfortunately, none of them were in the run game. Mm-hmm. Um, but if I'd have told you we had no no good or explosive plays in the run game, you'd probably guess. Well, I guess you had no – no points, no positive plays, no first downs, because three weeks ago that would have absolutely been the case. Right. And and we were able to make some plays in the passing game, and I was really pleased with that. And I think just uh, from a confidence standpoint, it, it'll do us some good moving forward as majority of those players are coming back after this season is concluded. Yeah, definitely. Well, you're sitting at fifth in district right now, but you have two games – against uh, teams that are ranked above you. And, and granted, they're not easy. <laughs> but, you know, Anderson, that's an important game. Let's talk about that one. Yeah, it's an important game. They have some great players. Yeah. They have some great players. An outstanding wide receiver. He's leading the district in receptions, and and uh, and he's a great player. And been watching him and breaking them down, the quarterback down. These guys are very well coached. It's, a, it's such a good team. And we just want to see how much growth we have. And we're playing for a lot. Yeah. And we are playing for a lot. You know, if, if we come out here and play the best game that we've played all year and something good happens for us, we, we might be in a position to crack one of those playoff spots. And so that's not gone. And, mm-hmm. uh, you know, we should be preparing for the best outcome that we can give ourselves this Friday night. But, you know, it, overcoming an obstacle like Anderson, who has an explosive offense, really great quarterback and a good system. You know, they a very strong defensive line, um, and they and they get after people. This is a solid team, you know, and and they're right up there with those with those top three teams. They're doing great things against those opponents. So, you know, a, a, another great challenge for us. It's exactly what we knew we were going to get right here in October. Um, going to play in House Park there in Austin. I drove by it the other day on the way to the Texas Georgia game. I'd never seen it before. It's a really neat looking place, so I'm looking forward to being there on Friday night. Yeah, and it will be rocking. It uh, they pack that thing. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's going to be playoff atmosphere pretty much, and, uh, and and at the end of the day, it is it is kind of a playoff game. Yeah, no question. Cool. Well, uh, guys, coach, best of luck uh, this week, and hopefully we'll be talking about uh, a win against Anderson next week. That would be awesome, and I, I'd really like that for our seniors. You know, they yeah. there's a lot of them have been dinged up and aren't able to contribute at this point in the season, but the ones that have stuck around, man, you know, they're they're the warriors, and, and we're proud of them, and we want to send them off on the right foot. I love it. I love it. All right, coach, well, we'll talk to you next week. Okay, thanks, Chris. We also want to thank the following sponsors. Lynn Peach, attorney at law, Madsen Law Firm, Texan Realty, and Johnny Romero, heating and air conditioning. If you want to find how you can help sponsor these shows and be mentioned every episode, reach out to the Hayes Booster Club. Are you ready to take your game to the next level? Whether you're an athlete, coach, or just someone striving for more success in life, the Winner's Workshop is your secret weapon. Yes, this award-winning course has transformed thousands of lives, teaching the game-changing principles of sports psychology that Fortune 500 companies, coaches, and top performers all use to win. The Winner's Workshop, subtitled How Sports Psychology Can Make You a Champion, is now available on CoachTube for a fraction of the original $499 price. The Winner's Workshop will help you master focus, mindset, and breakthroughs to make you a champion. 
Click on the link in the show notes or head over to LoneStarGridiron.com and click on the ad today to unlock your full potential.